The new special episode is out, Catch the Thief, and today we're going to talk about how you guys can easily score in the top zero percentile. As you can see, I am currently ranked 449, which I would consider respectable with a high score of 10,788. Now, when I first started this event, I was like, how are people getting scores that high? What do I need to do? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to get a high score like that. If we go to rankings here, I have no idea what these uh, top three spots, four, five, six, are doing. I don't know if they're legit or not. They do just have a fully duped Charmy. It might be possible to actually get that score with a fully duped Charmy if uh, she can survive the attacks by herself. I guess maybe you get more buffs in the long run? Question mark? I mean, it's possible. It's probably possible. Like these scores right here, 49,000 are definitely possible. But the question is, do you want to sit there all day for that score? Personally, I haven't had the need or want or desire to sit there all day yet. So I'm going to show you guys how to get at least a, a somewhat decent score. But as you can see, these top ones are actually all legit right here for 20th place and so on, uh, 34,000 and so on. These are actually achievable scores. And one major thing you'll notice while looking at these is that people are using free to play characters. They're using Finral, they're using Vanessa, they're using Noel, they're using Charmy. And the main thing about these characters is they don't do a lot of damage. Vanessa does like no damage, but she gives extra defense. Finral gives extra speed and attack, but doesn't really do any damage. Charmy does a little bit of damage, and so does Finral with their primary, but that's about it. Noah gives shields, okay? So you're running a team that's largely free to play, and you're doing as little damage as possible, and mainly you're using Charmy to heal your team and keep your team alive for an excessive amount of turns. You want this, this is weird, right? But you want this special episode to take as many turns as possible. Yes, you lose some score for however many turns it takes, but in that amount of turns, you want to also apply as many buffs to yourself and debuffs to the enemy as possible to get the highest possible score. Okay, and then for total ranking reward, depending on the percentile you're in, you will get extra rewards. So being in the top 0%, I am going to get these rewards here for the top 10%, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So if we go to the ready tab... And we are going to do this, of course, on the highest difficulty for part six. We go to the ready tab. Here is the team I used to get the score that you see. And you'll notice my team power is only 142,000. I am using an SSR, level 55 Vanessa. I am using LR Finral. You don't have to have him LR. You could have him UR. You could have him SSR, honestly. Uh, as long as Charmy is high enough level to heal. Honestly, if I could choose, I'd like to get Charmy a little bit higher. Um, the main thing is with Charmy, she is the only character you need to have fully like built the right way and so if we go to charmy's gear here i don't have all lr gears i don't have the best gears right but what i do have is all health lr gears so they're giving hp 6000 hp 6000 hp 6000 hp and that adds up to an extra 33,000 hp for charmy and the more hp charmy has the more she's going to heal because right here grants all allies continuous hp recovery equal to 10 percent of own max hp for two turns and her special skill or secondary skill not special skill does the same thing continuous hp recovery for 4.5 percent and then she heals a single ally with six percent of max hp HP. So just have your max HP really high. Charm, you will heal more and keep your teammates alive. That's the only character you really need to have built. Besides that, I have a level 100 Lotus. Lotus is the debuffer here. You could I actually run this without a debuffer and just go for buffs if you wanted. You could run like SR Noel in place of Lotus, but I am going to run a debuffer because I like what Lotus can do and I feel like he can get more debuffs because every single skill that Lotus has is a debuff and it counts towards the debuff count. And as far as gear goes, you can actually probably take off all of his gear and get away with it, or most all of it. You might want to keep a little bit on there so he has a little bit more survivability with defense, but you can take off a lot of the gear on Lotus and actually get a fairly decent score. So I'm going to go ahead and actually swap my stuff real quick uh, to Radies, and we're going to see how this goes without any gear on Lotus. I'll keep the those accessories on it's not really going to make a difference uh but that brings my battle power even lower my team cc combat class even lower 130,530. and so i am going to take it on take on this event with this team right here and the thing is this is going to take a very very long time and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed up this next part of the video i'm not going to talk during it, obviously because it's just going to be going on auto you don't need to actually do this yourself and you're going to let it just go through and let them do their damage it's going to take a long time because you don't have a lot of damage with this team and you're going to let charmy heal and hope that nobody dies if somebody does die 
then you need to kind of pay a little bit of attention. Like you can watch TV while you do this or whatever, but you do need to reset that way you're getting the maximum amount of buffs and debuffs possible because like if Finral dies here, then we're missing a lot of buffs that would uh, have increased our score. So with that said, let's go ahead and press start here.
I'm here for a victory. So that is the end of it. Quite literally, like 30 minutes later, I will have, of course, sped that part up at this point, but I did just sit and watch all of that. So as you can see, we got 345 buffs. We got 117 debuffs. We're getting a very big score from all those buffs. That gave us an overall score of 14,923. So even better than the score I had before, which was 10,000. You can probably do better than this by just switching up your team and your units a little bit. Um, and the reason I got a higher score this time is because Lotus was doing less damage. As you can see, I lost 5,200 points points though for every turn um that it was the boss's turn which is a little bit annoying but i mean it happens for everybody so that's how you get a high score and if we go in and look at the rankings now i should have moved up the rankings and then there is one more piece of information to talk about so i went up to rank 285 even though it says 284, but I'll take rank 285. That's pretty good. And then the very last thing I want to talk about is uh, presets with that team. I don't know if I can actually go in now since I've already done it. Let me see if I can switch over here and pull up the presets for... Oh, Yeah, it's not going <laughs> to... Let's go like this then. Let's go to manage team. All right, we'll, we'll look at this. All right, so this is the team right here. And if we go to presets... You can see my presets there. So there are my presets for the team. You guys can copy those if you want, or uh, you can, of course, change things to come up with your own presets. The thing about the biggest preset thing is for Lotus, I made sure not to pick a skill two because I didn't want his skill two going uh, to give more damage. So I made sure he was just skill one, uh, doing skill one and his ultimates. You could actually probably take his special off if you wanted. I had a special going for the debuffs though, but his special does do incapacitate, which increases your damage. So if you wanna not do that and just do the mobility debuff with Lotus, you could absolutely do that. So yeah, there you go, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Maybe.